Now, the Earth's orbit isn't a perfect circle. It's actually an ellipse. You usually see it drawn like this. Lots of people think, Hey, this must be why we have seasons. When the Earth is close to the sun, we have summer. And when the Earth is far away from the sun, we have winter. But that's actually not true. If that were true, it would be summer in America and Australia at the same time. And we know that's not the case. Exactly. The way we've drawn Earth's orbit here is really exaggerated. People just draw it that way to highlight the extremes. In actuality, there's a relatively small difference between the Earth's closest and furthest points from the Sun. If we draw Earth's orbit with the correct shape, it looks like this. You can see it's actually pretty circular, but it's not perfect. So it's not the closeness of the Earth to the Sun that causes the seasons. To see what's actually at work, we have to look at the orbit from the side. In our side view, the Earth is revolving around the Sun in this orbital plane here. It takes one year to go through a full orbit, 365 days. Remember, at the same time, Earth is rotating on its axis once every day. The important thing, for the seasons at least, is that the Earth actually isn't straight up and down. It's tilted at an angle of 23.5 degrees. So, when the Earth is on this side of the Sun, the Northern Hemisphere is angled away from the Sun. The Southern Hemisphere is angled toward the Sun. When the Earth is revolving around the Sun, it stays tilted in the same position. The axis doesn't wiggle around or anything. It just stays fixed in a certain direction. So when the Earth is over here, the Northern Hemisphere is angled towards the Sun, and the Southern Hemisphere is angled away. When a hemisphere is angled towards the Sun, the Sun's rays hit it directly. That's what's happening in the Northern Hemisphere here. But when a hemisphere is angled away from the Sun, like the Southern Hemisphere here, the Sun's rays hit it indirectly. So let's put it all together. When the Northern Hemisphere is tilted towards the Sun, it's receiving direct sunlight. It feels warmer, which means it's summer there. And the Southern Hemisphere is receiving indirect sunlight, which means it feels cooler. That's winter. Six months later, when the Earth is on the other side of the Sun, we have the opposite. It's the Southern Hemisphere receiving direct sunlight, so it's summer there. And the Northern Hemisphere is receiving indirect sunlight, so they're having winter. The Earth completes a rotation on its axis every 23 hours and 54 minutes. This rotation is counterclockwise with respect to the Sun when observed from the North Pole. The Earth completes one revolution around the Sun once every 365.26 days. The North Pole always points in the same direction in space. When observed from space, the Earth is seen to move in a helical motion about the Sun as the Sun travels through our galaxy.